It's a classic sci-fi fantasy. Tiny devices that can enter your body and do things, like open clogged arteries or pull out clots. Here at Caltech, we're working on materials that could one day be able to do tasks like these. We call these tiny smart materials that can change shape in response to heat, shape memory polymers. We make lots of things out of polymers, bottles, clothing, all sorts of stuff. Polymers are just big molecules made up of connected components. We want to connect our components in a way that makes them change shape in response to heat. And we want to do that on a tiny scale to fit into those arteries. And we want to control the final shape of our tiny structures so they can act as the grippers we envision. Here's a shape memory polymer I made today. It's not microscopic, but it'll help us understand what's going on inside. To make a shape change happen, our polymer components are connected like this. These interconnected chains can act in a way similar to springs. When we increase the temperature, the springs become flexible, and our material is easy to deform. When we drop the temperature sufficiently while the material is still deformed, the springs become frozen in their current state. This is the temporary state of our material. When we increase the temperature, our springs become flexible again. And what do springs want to do? Spring back to their original configuration. Shape memory materials like this exist today, from shrink tubing for your electronics, to self-deployable wheels for Mars rovers, but these are too big to fit into an artery. We recently figured out how to make 3D shape memory structures that would be tiny enough. We use a laser-based technique called two-photon lithography to connect polymer chains into tiny 3D shapes. Right now, our 3D structures are just flowers and simple lattices. Just like the macroscopic structures, they can be deformed and then heated to recover their original shape. We're one step closer to the fantasy tiny medical devices working autonomously inside your body. And material science and engineering make it possible.